I mean, this was quite a discovery. This is a little silverfish. It's an insect and I found it inside one of my cooking pots. Um, not a very nice idea, I have to admit. They are household pests and they like to eat starch and I've also read that they like to eat paper. And yeah, and it's actually a sign that the humidity inside my apartment is actually a little bit too high. Um, we used to have quite a few of these little things, creatures, um, in, in my apartment a few years ago. We sprayed some poison, also not a nice idea, <laughs> but uh, in any case they start to reappear right now. The question is what do you do with them? Well, 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 do I have to say more? I put them on a slide. And right now I'm uh, putting a drop of Upro mounting medium on the slide. And then the big problem was how do you actually get the silverfish uh, mounted uh, and I tried to actually get it out of the pot and yep it fell right on the slide and then I had to help a little bit and actually yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, I, I was not a very nice way of, of killing it, I have to admit, but it was, I think it was a quick death. Um, yeah, the solvents um, of the mounting medium killed it quite quickly. Yeah, so I think it was, yeah. I mean, if I would have uh, actually uh, thrown it out into the garden, he, it would have frozen to death, it's winter right now. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's uh, fate was sealed anyway. In any case, another a small drop of mounting medium on top, um, and then... Um, of course, um, a cover glass, uh, and uh, yeah, now I'm picking up the slide a little bit. Uh, a little, it's a little bit out of focus. I've totally forgot to refocus my camera. You know, okay, now it's now it's in focus again. Okay, yeah, and then of course um, a small uh, cover glass, and then um, it takes I don't know around a month or to six weeks uh, for the mounting medium to dry. Um, and uh, this is also the time uh, that it uh, is needed for the mounting medium to actually enter the specimen and, and to infiltrate uh, the insect. And this process also clears it up a little bit. And this is now a dark field image. I stitched together a few images. And it's a dark field a picture of the silverfish. And you can see it looks quite nice. Uh, there are a whole bunch uh, of segments that you can see. Very typical for insects, of arthropods in general, I would say. Um, this is a, a leg. Um, it looks a little bit out of focus, uh, but it was, I think, also quite a high magnification. And uh, over here, um, yeah, two other legs. Um, you can see the little, uh, yeah, little feet here uh, that they use to attach uh, uh, to surfaces. Um, there's also a bright field, Im uh, field image of one of the legs attaching to the exoskeleton um, of, of the insect. And uh, now also a picture of the abdomen, also in bright field right now. Yeah, a whole bunch of little hair that you can see. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I think uh, quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting specimen. Um, again, a dark field uh, image of the same uh, same region. And I could actually observe that the color changed a little bit over the weeks um, as the medium, the mounting medium, start to infiltrate. Now this is very interesting. Do you see the, the dark and uh, bright stripes? I think these are the dark and bright uh, stripes um, of uh, the skeletal muscles. And these are some scales um, of uh, the insect on the outside. And they, are also, they also have stripes. Well, I hope that you kind of enjoyed uh, this uh, specimen. It's a little bit uh, the first time for me at least uh, to observe a silverfish. And I wish you a nice day and all the best. Bye-bye.